Oh dear, here we go. Um, well, uh, I think I'm drawing a red line along my face at this precise moment. Obviously using a red liner. And now I'm going over the top of that red line with some liquid latex and some toilet paper. Making it all twisty twisty, nice thin strips. Then applying a little bit more liquid latex over the top just to put it into place. And I'm just going to add a little bit more to finish off that line. Okay, there's the toilet roll. More twisty, twisty action going on. Well, I'm just adding some more over the top. I suppose the more thicker you get it, the more reality he looks. If that makes any sense. Oh, I know, it's liquid latex and toilet roll rock. In case you're wondering what we're doing today, uh, I'm doing a slashed face and then stapled back together. Uh, I was using E to create the slash to begin with, I've got to do the old toilet roll liquid latex it's a good trick. But I think we've got enough layers going on there, so uh, I think we're moving on to the next step and now. Yep, it was foundation. Uh, we're going to apply that over the top. Just to make the tissue look a bit more skin tones. As you can see, I'm using a really old paintbrush instead of a makeup brush because I, I try not to contaminate them um, with the liquid laser because that can really match up your makeup brushes. But, as you can see, generous amounts going on over the top. Just blend it in. Oh god, she's got scissors. Oh my god, I didn't let her get those. Bad stuff's coming. Because she's now going to cut her face open. Well, actually, I'm not cutting my real face. I'm cutting into the tissue so I can create a fake slash. I would just like to point out that this is really, really difficult. It took me a lot longer than what you are seeing here. Moving down to the bottom half of it now, as you can see, I'm starting to struggle slightly. Oh, finally getting somewhere. As you can see, I really enjoyed doing that to my face. Right now, I'm filling in that slash with some black eyeshadow. This is just basically to add the depth to the cut. This is what gives the impression that it is a cut. It looks more realistic. And all I'm doing, as I said, was using a black eyeshadow. And I use some of my black eyeshadows from one of my sleek eyeshadow palettes. I use the Caraccio one, I had to think then which one it was, my brain just went completely dead. Oh, something distracted me then. Okay, now we're, we're, we're going over the line with some red face paint now. Now I'm using my Sinatra Red Face Paint. 
I find that this is excellent for giving the impression of a course. It's like the right colour, the right texture. I'm just going over the top of the set, making sure to blend it in well. Right, we're going to add some wax next. Oh, the am. There we go. Move some air. And, and we, we apply the wax in sections. Because now we're going to add some staples. And I really struggled with this bit. I wanted to give the impression it was actually going into my head. But obviously due to the lack of wax, I couldn't really do it. So I'm just doing the best thing I can here. Starting the rest now to the rest of the cuffs. Obviously, as you can see, the, the wax has to get a little bit thicker just to make sure it's stuck in place. Uh, hopefully, maybe in the, when I try, we try this, uh, maybe I'll have a bit more wax to play with. But as you saw, I didn't have them lot. Um, um, this was just a spur of the moment thing. Like, this wasn't something that I, I planned to do. I just did it because I was bored. Right, I'm just adding some more red face paint to the lines again just to fill in over the top of that wax that was added because obviously that was quite a, a clear tone, not a fleshy tone, but a bit of a clear tone. But it doesn't look very realistic so obviously that's why I'm just going over the top of it. To make it look more realistic. Right, I'm just taking a red eyeshadow now and I'm just blending that around the outer edges of that slash just to give the impression that it's really, really bloody sore. I mean, you can't have cuts with that soreness, it's just, it just isn't right. And I know it's a bit random at the moment, but once it's all blended in with the other colours, it, it looks really awesome. Yeah. Because now what I'm doing, I'm taking like a darker red and, and a bit of like an orangey red, I've mixed them together and I'm just once again, blending that around the edges. I mean, guys, if that don't look like so, what it does? I mean, seriously, ouch. And on the, on the outer bit, I'm now applying some yellow eyeshadow. Because obviously bruising heals quicker from the outside. And, and there! I'm now sharing it up to you. I thought you may want to see what I've done so far. Yes, I'm very proud of myself as you can see. Oh gosh, just showing up a little bit more. Oh dear, please do. I'm, I'm terrible for posing. Yeah, enough posing because I forgot to add the fake blood which is what I'm doing now if I had a brain I would be dangerous so the fake blood I'm using is nothing fancy and there I'm finally done Ta -da! Got my tango fingers. Very tango. You know what I mean. 